All right, and here's that item that I was talking about. This is an item that a lot of people get really excited about. Like, oh my gosh, I'm going to make so much money on this thing. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave tonight and we are getting closer and closer. We're getting kind of excited actually to get down in that Commonwealth cabin. Matter of fact, as we speak right now, Travis and Lisa are out there putting a few little finishing touches on the flooring and the paint. Now we still have quite a bit to do. We have to come up with some storage. There's a couple little custom things that I've asked them to do that I've bought. I've got a table in there I want them to tweak a little bit and a little storage desk and a couple little things like that. But we're getting closer. We have to put shelving in and we have to put a backdrop for our pictures and those kind of things. So we've got some work to do and they're, they're kind of slowly but surely and methodically doing this now they have six children so it is quite a task for them to get out here and over christmas break you obviously have to watch your kids so they were out here late late nights i mean into the early morning doing some of this work sometimes so we really appreciate them and we thank you very much and we can't wait to get out there and take a look at that thing but i did want to talk about a couple of topics today one of which i'm going to show you here in just a minute which is a common item that people look up and they get really really excited and then come to find out that they're really not worth so much so i'm gonna let you take a look at that in just a second and we'll show you what sold today had some retail arbitrage sale had a few older items sell, and I had a few items that we just listed sell. So let's take a look. All right, this is one of those fairly new items we listed. We've been selling, it seems like we sell one almost every day. There was quite a few, there's like 50 or 60 or so. We've sold maybe eight or nine of these. I probably should have kept track of these two boxes of military magazines that we bought at a yard sale in the, I think, midsummer. And we made a bunch of money selling them off. We made a bunch of money in two big lots of magazines. And then now we're selling these off one at a time. We've already probably made $200 so far. And we will probably make close to $400 on just those two boxes of magazines. Maybe more. Even, you know, if we get $4 profit per magazine, that's $240 up there. And we're at 200 already so you know 440 bucks you know some of them are going to go for more some of them are going to go for less so we might could have kept track of that but at this point it's too late so this one sold and it's only going out well it's not too bad it's going out for 11.96 so that's a pretty good little profit considering it's 275 to ship that thing and the fees on that will be roughly oh well, let's say two bucks but it'll be a little less than that all right, sold some more board game parts that we don't have many of these left. I don't do too much of this, but occasionally when we pick something up for really cheap, I found this wrist game, and it's not the amazing wrist game. It's just a kind of, I think, mid-90s one where it just has these little pieces. It doesn't even have the horses and all that stuff that goes with it. And I sold a set. There's two more of these. I sold a set of these parts, and we sold them for $12.81. So it's not a huge profit. It's about 6 to $7 profit. I wouldn't buy something like this unless the whole box was like 50 cents. That's probably what we did, and we'll make 6 bucks, and it's not too hard. All right, and here's that item that I was talking about. This is an item that a lot of people get really excited about. Like, oh my gosh, I'm going to make so much money on this thing. And... If you look them up, these are McDonald Beanie Babies and their free giveaways and all that. And if you look them up, some of them are listed for crazy money. Hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars. And the ones that sell are really only listed for about 12 bucks, which I think this is what that's sold for. And this is a set of four. This is all of them. They are kind of neat, but they're really not worth anything. They're McDonald giveaways. And the reason why people will say, well, they're heirs. It says 1999 up here, and then it says date introduced in 1997, date of birth 1996, and and so they think they're heirs. They're not heirs. This one's 98, 97. It's just they're being sold in this packaging to McDonald's in 99. They're not worth much of anything. Now, we paid a quarter a piece for these things down at a thrift store in Myrtle Beach. Matter of fact, if you've been watching this show a long time, you've seen me sell these one other time. So this one is going to go out, and we're not going to make much money on it. But, you know, paying a dollar for all of them, they will, believe it or not, stay under 16 ounces. So we're going to make like five bucks on these things, maybe. It's not much money, but I'm glad they're gone. I kind of only bought them, really, just to show the viewers out there. I, I knew we'd make some money on them. If I was going to take a loss, I wouldn't have bought them, even if it was to show you something. 
but I bought them just to kind of make a point about this item for new resellers. There's a lot of items out there like that, but the big ones are the Disney VHS. So the Black Diamond Disney VHS. You look them up and you'll see some out there for $10,000. You'll see some out there sold for that much. I can promise you nobody paid $10,000 for one of those. People have fake accounts or they'll use somebody else to bid on it and buy it and it shows that it's sold but nobody ever paid for it nobody ever shipped it so don't go out there buying disney black diamond to make tens of thousands of dollars you're not going to make it matter of fact i think i did a video on that way 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 back and if you want to go check out this video with turner in it it's if you go to the thrifting playlist you'll see turner standing by goodwill down in myrtle beach and we went in there and checked that thing out all right, here is a Richard Petty poster. I'm not going to unfold the whole thing. It is from Martinsville Speedway, 1986. It's the Goodies 500. I mean, if this isn't screaming 1986, the wood paneling in the back, old, old king right here. And this thing's kind of neat. You'll see here, I'll open that up. You'll see the date right there and all that down here, the copyright. And so somebody's going to frame this thing and put it up. This came in a great little yard sale that we went to that we bought a whole box full of stickers and if you watched the show months ago we were selling off lots of those stickers the jasper transmission i think maybe it's engine stickers we sold tons of those things we didn't make a bunch like six or seven dollars every time we sold like a lot of four but we sold tons and tons of lots there must have been a thousand stickers in there and then we've been selling the rest of the stickers that we couldn't sell on ebay we've been selling them in the antique booth and we've been making one dollar at a time i just looked at that email for january and we've sold nine stickers this month we're getting down to the nitty-gritty uh, we paid five dollars for that box and that thing was in it i bet you we will make close to eight hundred dollars on that when it's all said and done uh, there'll be some stickers we can't sell we'll have to sell for 50 cents there'll be some that we'll lock together in fours and we'll sell out of the booth but we'll make 800 maybe more maybe a thousand that thing right there sold for 25 dollars plus shipping so it's a pretty good buy all right these are going out to a viewer now this is something that i think is interesting now i bought these at a yard sale if you remember going back i can't remember what the thumbnail was but we went to a yard sale and there was a set of books there that I really wanted. It was some African-American history books that went fairly far back before the Civil Rights Movement. And I love buying that stuff. I'm a history teacher. I find it interesting. And there's a pretty decent market for some of it as well. And, you know, you can sell it different ways. But I, I've sold some of that stuff on eBay before, and she wouldn't sell it to me. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I like to think it wasn't because I'm white. I highly, highly doubt that. But... Uh, I probably should have said, listen, I'm a history teacher. I'd love to love to have these. Unfortunately, I didn't say that, but I felt like it wasn't the right thing to say because my plans were to resell those and not keep them. Now, I would have enjoyed them for a while, uh, maybe even read a little bit of it before I sold them. So I ended up not saying it. And I gave her my card and said, hey, give me a call if you want to get rid of them, if you want to sell them, and I'll be happy to buy them. And she never called, but that's okay. I did get these at this sale, and I think I paid a buck a piece, which was not what I wanted to pay. I wanted to pay a buck for all of them, but I stood in line forever at this place. I'm like, well, I gotta leave here with something, and I got a few good things for sure. These sold to Wayne, so hey, we appreciate it. It's $28.20 for these. This is a, it's a, it's two, quantity of two right here. So these old floppies. So if you ever find old media, these are brand new in the package. If you ever find old media out there, you know, it's a fairly safe bet to pick them up. You know, this isn't a ton of money, but we're into it for probably $4. So fees on that, you're looking at about $4. So there's eight. This is going to go medium mail shipping. This is going to go ten seventy five. dollars So we'll make about $17, $17.50, something like that on these. All right, you have to go way back to remember this one. Well, actually, you don't. This has actually been sitting up here, but I usually put it in the back. It was sitting right here for a long, long time. If you go back to the very first videos, and to be honest with you, I would suggest that you don't go back to those very, very first videos. It was bad. This whole thing was set up. You know, I put this stuff here. I used to store stuff here all the time. And those first few episodes, I'm like, man, alive. People don't want to look at this garbage. And so I kind of got some more interesting things, some colorful things for y'all to look at. Well, this is one of the things that sat here for a while. And I had a bunch of stuff. I had Goofy and Mickey and a tape dispenser and a stapler and 
a paperclip holder and and this guy was here and he's the last one and they're kind of like these totem things they're made to look like they're carved this is actually pretty heavy and this one is a sticky note holder and i've sold all the other ones off i paid a dollar a piece and most of them have sold for over 20. a couple of them have sold for 40. this one sold for 29 28.95 plus shipping so happy to do that and that one's going to make us about a 24 dollar profit and these you don't find if you ever see something like this that's unique buy it i bought these with no comps there were no comps on ebay nothing whatsoever and there was no comps either way There's a couple other places you can look up comps there was nothing i could find anywhere on these anywhere and that's why i bought them so sometimes if the price is right and you don't know buy them you're the only one who has them you've got a corner on the market so somebody comes across it and they're like, oh, I like that. And then they type in what they found and they see if they can find other ones like it and they can't. Then they have to debate. Do I want to pay? I mean, this person out the door paid $41.64 for this item. So, you know, it's a cool item. And maybe they have a set and they broke this one. Or maybe they really like Disney and this is what they want and this is the only one they can find. I don't know. But either way, this is a great sale and I'm happy to have it sold. All right, this is a viewer sale. Other than the Enemyan, these Grateful Dead, this is Twisted Radio Waves, and this is Dr. Demento. We must have a lot of Deadhead fans. These are something, I've told this story before, where we bought two boxes, 500 in each box for $5 a box. So we paid a penny a piece for these, and it may have been $10. Boy, I have to go back and look. I can't even remember at this point. It's been so long. It's been two years, and we've sold probably... 170 of these things and we still have you know over we have over 800 of these things left and we're only making about say three dollars a piece on them when they sell but you know what that's three thousand dollars it might take 10 years to sell them seriously it might take 10 years to sell them but that's three thousand dollars and they take up no space whatsoever i mean a thousand of these up there in the corner they've been sitting there for two years and they'll probably remain there for the next two years and we'll make a little bit at a time but it seems like about half of the ones i've sold since we've been doing this show have been to viewers so viewers seem to like them i don't know if it's the dr demento or if it's uh you know if that brings back memories or what but there's two of them going your way mike and we really do appreciate it he says thanks for your content we appreciate it so going out to you i just saw one more of these on here so i figured let's do this one too this is also to a viewer it says hey we enjoy your show chris chris thank you so much i hope you enjoy dr demento and jerry garcia uh, for those of you who want to know i forgot i didn't mention the price is 661 for the single and i sell two at a time for 895 so uh you know they sell we sell maybe 50 or 60 this year it's probably what we sold, and I'd say about 30 of them were to viewers. So, you know, if you sell 30 a year, you're, I'm going to be doing this till I'm retired. I'm going to be doing that past retirement, and I'm okay with that because we made our money back on those things within, you know, a couple weeks of buying them, and just that slow money over time will add up. So, you know, I'm down here anyways doing some shipping. That literally takes one more minute to pop those suckers in there and ship them off. And, you know, between the two, we'll make about $7. So I'm really happy with that. I wish I wish I could come up with, like, 50 items like that. I, at this point, I only have, like, seven or eight. If I could come up with 50 items like that, that you never have to list again, you only have to ship, that's gold right there. And if there's anybody out there who has those type of items, you bought things in multiples. I saw somebody the other day commented and asked about some t-shirts they bought a bunch of t-shirts and they're all identical shit and i'm only gonna make this much on it i'm like yeah buy them absolutely buy them look if you're only making six bucks on it but you got 400 of them and you got the capital to let sit there for a while and you're confident that they will sell over time how long will it take you to make your money back i mean you know that i'm all for that i just bought 1500 and a man i'm willing to sit on something if it's making me money over time for sure if i have the space and i have the capital i'm gonna buy it all right, here's one of those local items that I wish I had a lot of. I sell maybe 10 of these a year or so. This one sold for $16.88. I can usually pick them up for a buck, 50 cents, maybe two bucks. That's about it. Oftentimes I'll sell them as a puppet. Sometimes I sell them as a putter head cover. And I always put that in the, in the title, puppet, putter head cover, uh, Liberty mascot. So uh, whenever I find these, I sell them $16.88. You know, that's pretty good. If you pay a buck for it, that means you're in three, six, let's say you're making, well, you're definitely making $10 on it. That's pretty good. 
I just, uh, when I turned around, I just saw something that I wanted to mention the other day and I totally forgot. I'm going to ask y'all for your help and then I'm going to show you the last thing that sold out of the Commonwealth Picker store. And then we're going to take a look and grab one of the homeschool hustlers and see what sold out of their store. I think there was one viewer sale out of there and I think there were three sales out of there. Actually, the Beanie Babies were out of that store. And then there are two more sales out of the homeschool hustler store. So what I'm going to ask you here has to do with license plates. I, first of all, if anybody's out there selling California license plates, whether that's the old blue ones or the white ones with the red script, I would like to have some of those. I would like to buy some of those. If you have some in your store that you're selling at a reasonable price, I'm not really looking at buying one. I'd, I'd rather buy like 10 and get a good price on them. There's one place in the Commonwealth cabin out there that I'd like to use for those. I grew up in California. Um, and so kind of if you look, I don't know if you can see it here. I was going to say you can see the California one, but you can't. It's actually back here by my TV. It's back behind that Capitol Bread sign. And so there's a California one in there. And I lived there for a while. I do have the California flag right here. And John Cincinnati Picker uh, sent me one of those. And I'm gonna, I actually had an offer for that one the other day. A viewer saw it and said, hey, I would love to have that thing. I'll give you 50 bucks for it. And I'm like, whew. I feel bad. I have two of them. I wanted one in the cabin and I wanted one here. And I'm like, well, if you want one that bad, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. But I can't charge you 50 bucks for it. I just feel bad. But I never heard back. So if you're out there and you want that one, we can definitely make that happen. But I would love a California one out there. I'd love a whole row of them. There's two places where those lofts are. I'd like to put California plates on one side and Virginia plates on the other is what my plan is. I'd also, I was thinking about an idea, and I had, I've had two viewers now send me license plates, so I thought maybe we would do something. If I have the guts to finally get organized for the first time, I thought that I might, instead of doing SKUs, you know, I saw Lonnie named his shelves, which I think is, an, is a brilliant idea. A lot of people have numbers and letters and all these systems. I thought about using license plates and either putting them on bins and using the license plate number as the SKU or using just the, the plate. You know, there's 50 states out there, last time I checked, and... I figured, you know, if we get a different plate for each bin, or maybe even for each shelf, it might be a fun way to do that. There's a few places in the back that, that have a place we could put them up for different areas that aren't necessarily on shelves, and I might be able to use that as a skew. At any rate, long story short, if you have, and if you have the capability, and it's not, I don't want any expensive plates, don't get me wrong, but if you have any generic plates out there from the state that you live in, and you'd like to send it, my P.O. box is in the description below, and then I'll name one of the bins, and then you could see it for the you know following years or whatever, um, and you can represent your state. So anyways, that's an idea. Or if you have access to some low-priced plates, I'm not looking for you know something from 1941 with this that's worth 100 bucks. I'm not looking for that. I'm just looking for some run-of-the-mill. Uh, I love these, the blue and white, obviously, because it's the, the, the colors that we use often. But there's other ones as well. Actually, this one's got a great story. I might have to tell this story one day. I'm going to set these over here. I'll, I'll tell this story another day. This is an interesting story, and I haven't sold these yet. I will probably will end up selling these because I think I can actually get some money from these. This is a, well, I'm not going to tell the story now. You're going to have to wait for later. All right, we're going to cut this part of the show off right now. We're going to let the two homeschool hustlers in here and show you what sold out of the homeschool hustler store. And hang around for that because there's one sale to a viewer that I think is really neat. And then there's one other sale as well. So we'll see you in a minute with the kids. I just realized that I didn't tell you about this last item. So me and Turner were going to Walmart the other day to pick up something, milk or bread or something. And I walked past the, I always park in the far end so I can walk past the clearance and see if something catches my eye. Well, the remaining Christmas stuff was 90% off. So these are 98 cents and 90% off. So we paid 10 cents a piece for these and we sold them for $12. Minus shipping, minus fees, all in, sold them for $6.81 profit. So on these, we made $6.81 and we had four lots of them. So we bought 20 of them. So we're going to make a grand total of 20, if I do my math right here, $27.32. Does that sound right? Um, 34 cents, I think, is what we're going to make. So, And that literally took us, I mean, I saw them, and I just picked up the box for uh, 10 cents a piece, and there was 20 in it. And I'm like, hey, we're going to make some money on these. And it's quick. So how long did it take me to pick them up? I took one picture of the thing, so one listing, and we'll ship it four times. It'll take two minutes. So 15 minutes into $27. You know, that's, that's 100 bucks an hour. Love it.
All right, Turner, those sold out of the Homeschool Hustler store. What are they? Remember? Oh, uh, no. Wuzzles. Wuzzles, yeah. They're wuzzles. wuzzles. And so check out this message I got. It says, hello from coastal North Carolina. I am a fan of your show. Love watching your no-nonsense picking. <laughs> I don't know about no-nonsense. I, I got a lot of nonsense going on out there. It says, when you pick these, I knew I needed them, needed all caps, for my two daughters Easter basket, a piece of my childhood. At any rate, and she goes on to say that her uh, hubby is active military. He's a Marine. Um, really awesome that you guys are out there active military. You have two daughters, two dogs, Tristina and Walter. Walter, thank you so much for your service, and I hope your little girls enjoy these two in their Easter basket. Want to say thank you? Thank you. And one more thing sold, huh? Yes. Pick that up right there. These are Jurassic Park watches. Jurassic Park watches. You got it. And those, I can't remember what those sold for. I think they were pretty cheap. Somewhere around 15 bucks for all four. And I paid a quarter a piece for them. So, all right, Turner. Thanks for joining us, buddy. Bye. See you later.